Five meters, come by it a little bit. Coming right. That's, that's actually a good heading right there. Stop and heading. Roger. Zero, four, zero. Be advised, traffic. Right there. Think that's all right. Box. Roger. This is Mike with CSTactical.com. Today we're going to talk about how to select a variable power scope from a short range to a mid range to a long range to an extremely long range system. As we come back over here, we're going to talk about the 1 to 4s. What a 1 to 4 is going to be good for is an environment that you are going to be encountering close up objects with using the 1 power to mid range objects, giving you using, being able to use the 4 power. I feel the 1 to 4s are great from anything from point blank range all the way out to four or five hundred yards. Even though they say you can use these out to six hundred yards, eight hundred yards, I feel like that's pushing the unit. Uh, I hold in my hand the Elcan Spectre DR. We're one of the very few people that actually keep these in stock. Um, the one to four system is going to be very beneficial for those who are hunting in the thicket. Uh, so if all of a sudden something pops up real close to them, that they can shoot it or the person that's on the patrol like the military and law enforcement that's going to typically have short range engagements and has that potential potential to have a further engagement um, yeah, for tactical or target shooting it's going to be more for like the AR-15 platforms to have fun with but not really for uh, the true precision shots uh, as we go to this is a whole Leopold that I hold in my hands, uh, 1.5 to 5. This is going to be designed more for the mid-range shooter. Uh, even though the 1.5 allows you to be, have speed, it's really designed to get you out a little bit further than the 1 to 4s. You can typically use these scopes because there's a, there's a variety of them out there. A 1.5 to 5, the Elcan has a 1.5 to 6. Uh, there is also the 2.5 to 8, and even you can go all the way up to a 3.5 to 10 power st style scope. And those are going to be designed, even the 10 power, you can actually do even long range. But the ben benefit to having that magnification down to 3 power is really for the mid range. Um, what you're looking for, for a 1.5 to 5 to a 1.5 to 8, something like that, is going to be for those shots that you're going to encounter from typically around... 50 yards, maybe even 100 yards, all the way out to six, 700 yards. And again, you can use those for hunting situations. The person that's a designated marksman, uh, especially in the military environment, would be great for that. Now, as we transition over to the long range scopes, I hold in my hands a Premier 3.5 to 15 by 50 millimeter. Uh, this scope is also front focal plane. What front focal plane means is that it allows you to use the reticle any power you want, being able to use it for holdover shots, ranging, and such forth. Um, what that means in front focal plane is, is that it's relative to the target, not the shooter. So when you rotate the power, it doesn't, it, you'll see the line stay the same as the, um, the target. A second focal plane scopes are also you can get in three and a half to fifteen and uh, various different scopes such as night force. The second focal plane scope is going to be relative to the shooter, meaning that the lines don't get any thinner or thicker. It stays the same as the, the shooter looks at it, it looks the same. But the target grows in relation grows smaller and bigger within the lines. You cannot use that typically as a holdover. Um, scope at any magnification and typically it's if it's set for 15 power you got to hold it at the 15 range put it on 15 power and use that for ranging at 15 or doing your holdover shots uh, three and a half to 15 3.2 to 18 these are going to be great for out to 12 1300 yards but you're typically going to be using them a thousand yards and in uh, a lot of, I get a lot of questions asking are these going to be efficient for the thousand or the competition tactical competitions yes they are I use quite a few of them myself I typically recommend this magnification range for a shooter that's using a 308 or that's not really going to be shooting out past uh, 800 900 a thousand yards all the time most of their shots are going to be within the eight and in now we go to the extreme long range scopes 
and in my hands I hold a Night Force 5.5 to 22 power with a zero stop scope. Uh, this scope is second focal plane, so when you're doing extreme long range, a first focal plane is not going to be as critical. The um, reason is, is because of the fact that you typically actually want the lines to be really thin. So when you are getting onto that target that's really far away, you can actually put a nice thin line on there and be able to see, not cover up the target and still see it. Bench rest shooters typically like this. Uh, long range hunters typically like that. Um, for, for a tactical environment, a 5.5 to 22. Night force such as this. You'll find people out there that are using them. Uh, it makes it a little more complicated to do tactical environment type of shooting for such as multiple engagements because of the fact that uh, you're so high in magnification. You can back it down to, since this is 22 power, you can back it down to 11 power, making the lines double. So therefore, if this was a half mil reticle inside of it, half mil will become a full mil, and a full mil will become two mils. Uh, but you just got to keep that in your mind, it's a little bit more math than I like to do, so that's why I recommend a front focal plane. Can you use a front focal plane 5.5 to 25, like Premier or SMB, for tactical environment shooting? Most certainly you can. Typically, you're going to find these on more of your 260s, 284s, uh, 243s for your tactical shooters. Uh, there is a benefit to having the high magnification on a tactical environment rifle that's in front focal plane is because you can on a nice good day you can crank it all the way up see those targets really up close and personal and be able to shoot a little bit tighter uh, these go, anything that's going to be used for an extreme long range you really want the best quality glass in it because you want to have be able to have that image out there uh, be able to bring it in with good quality edge to edge clarity knowing that you're able to see your target and it's going to be able to be really reliable on those rifles for any other questions feel free to go to cstactical.com check out our forum post questions there i'd be happy to answer them there thank you very much